my name is uh, Enel Jabo. I'm the CEO of the Yellow Get Restaurant. I love to cook. It's a passion I've had for a very long time. As a matter of fact, people look at me and say, hmm, you, you know how to cook? And I'm like, I just don't know how to cook. I know how to cook African food, Nigerian food, and I get amazed. So it's like a passion because I love to feed people. I love to cater to people. I can cook. I'm a very good cook, if I have to say. I mean, my chef knows. So sometimes we get it down, we cook, and we have fun together. So it's a passion. So I do it all the time, yeah. Before the Yellow Gate restaurant, I had a mobile food truck. It was called the Nini's Mobile Food Kitchen. And what we did was we, it was a, I got a, I got a, a mobile food truck and um, I constructed it to, 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 in a way where we can actually cook food and drive around and serve people. Uh, that went on for about two years and the, we had to, we had a lot of problems. It was fun initially, but we had a, a lot of logistic problems. Uh, we had a problem of uh, packing, we had a problem of Lego State, maintenance and all that. So it was costing me so much money. And that's when I decided, okay, fine. I wanted to get a location for my restaurant. And that's when I decided to set up a restaurant and I named it uh, the Yellow Gate Restaurant. And the Yellow Gate Restaurant is strictly African and continental dishes. And, um, and that's where we have it. I mean, everything changes when it's a hike in anything. So what we do is we just try and accommodate. We don't really, we don't really change our prices. What we do is we see how we can manage and still give the good standard of meals and food because customers would always notice if the price of food changes, you know. So what we do is we we just um, we we strength we expand ourselves. We 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 just we just spend a little bit more just to accommodate our customers. Not like we really change. It doesn't affect uh, the price of food. I mean, it's still the same thing we give. We know how we go about it. Which, which, I mean, it's not easy, but we have a way around it. So I will still give the same service, even if we, even if price of um, of um, food stuff in the market changes. Yeah. Life is competition in itself. So you just do your thing and just. I believe that if you do things right and you keep a standard, then I think you don't have a problem. I mean. Life itself is a competition, so what I try to do is I keep to my standard and my services are stable and very, very, I mean what we do is we make sure that we attend to our customers, however, wherever they are, we just keep our standard and we make sure we keep, we are consistent and we, we give the best services, that's all we try to do. It has its days, it has its challenges, but I... I don't regret having a restaurant. It's, um, uh, I don't regret it. So it's, I mean, it has its uh, challenges, but I'm happy. I'm happy I went because I have passion for food. Whether I have a restaurant or I don't have a restaurant, I'm still going to cater to people. So that's what I love to do. So that's it. Doesn't really matter. <laughs>